husband is at work and so I'm having to hitch up by myself. So the first thing that I did was I aligned the truck perfectly, backed it up into our skinny little driveway, and I made sure that the center of the truck was aligned with the center of the RV. That way I could back it up the hitch straight to the trailer um, coupler so that I can hitch it up. So I backed it up. I wasn't quite sure how, how close I was and so I stopped because I questioned it and I was only maybe about three foot from the coupler aligned perfectly because I aligned the center of the back of my truck to the center of the trailer and but I noticed that I had to raise the coupler up so I did that so that my ball will fit perfectly underneath there and so now I know my exact measurement of how far I am from the coupler. So I'm going to back my truck up straight into that coupler area. Um, exactly three. I'm going to sh be shy of three foot because before I get to the coupler, I want to make sure I stop and do a safety check because I am doing this by myself. So when you're hitching up by yourself, it's going to take a little bit longer, but you're going to want to do it safely. Okay, so I backed it up, and as you can see, I'm just a couple inches from that coupler, but because I centered my truck, to the center of the um, trailer, I am perfectly aligned to that coupler. My backup camera is not functioning right now, so I'm having to come back and double check for safety, um, both the, uh, the alignment to make sure that I can get it under there, and also I wanna make sure that I have enough height there so that I don't knock my trailer. But anyway, I am going to hop back into the truck and we are going to hitch up. Okay, so I am right under my coupler. And one thing, you just always double check yourselves, but I had this in the down position, which means that if I had lowered my coupler, I would have been sitting on top of it and it would not have locked onto my ball. So that is a very dangerous thing. So you want to double check and make sure that your hitch is open so that it can receive that ball. So then what you're gonna do when all the weight's on that truck, you wanna shut that ball, lock it up. And I do not feel that my ball is super seated in there. So I'm just going to move the truck forward just a little bit. Um, very gently until that, that is completely received. Because I think the ball is hit sitting on the lip a little bit. Okay, ladies. Since this is a no makeup day, you're not going to see a lot of my face here. So anyway, I got the ball on onto the hitch or the coupler and it got seated in good. So I put the lock back and then I made sure that I immediately I put the hitch pin in. Whoops. Immediately I put the hitch pin in and um, locked it that way I do not forget that. That's very important to do because that kind of locks that whole whole thing up. So I got my round bars, my E2 round bars. So now I need to hook up the weight distribution. What I do for that is I now need to raise my trailer back up. Now that I'm hitched, and now I'm gonna raise it up to relieve some of the pressure so that I can get it back on 
And that also, that is also verifying that I got this locked in. But I need my hitch raised so that I can get it on the bar. Okay? Ladies, you can do this. Yes, this is a video for the ladies saying, yes, we can hitch it up too. Except don't let all your men know, because then they'll be expecting you to do it at the campground. So, anyway, when you raise it, it makes that bar super easy to get on, just like that. You just don't want to hyper raise it because that's why we use these blocks. Um, because otherwise you're going to trip your fuse on the, I got an LCI, LCI I think it is, Jack. I'll double check on it. But anyway, you want to make sure you got your metal thing. When I hitch up by myself, I always take my time. That way I know I am not forgetting anything. So, I got this side, I got the bar done. I work on one side at a time, that way I don't forget anything. Very important, you wanna make sure that you got your safety chain correctly hooked up. And these can be a little booger. But I got this side done. So, while I'm on here, I also wanna grab my power and hook it up to the truck. And that hookup, you will have either a four pin or you'll have that seven pin. And this is what most of the newer trailers have. So we got this little cover for a hitch. That way it's not exposed to the elements. And I am gonna grab, I'm trying to video with one hand and do this with the other. So I'm going to bring this through. We got our chains. They are crisscrossed. And we got our sa uh, safety trailer brake right here. So now the only thing I have left to do is to do my check. I already checked, make sure the propane's off. I need to get the chalk blocks away from the tires because now I'm hooked up to the truck so the trailer's not going anywhere and I need to make sure all my cargo holds are locked up my doors locked up stairs up and because I am alone normally I can see I spot my husband when he taps on the brakes I can see when we do our move um whether or not the lights are working but since i am by myself what i am going to do is i'm going to turn on the truck light and that way the trailer light should turn on and i'll be able to know if i'm hooked up correctly but you want to make sure that you double check you do your walk around make sure everything's locked down hunkered down um double check always double check this area in here to make sure that you did hook up everything take your time because if something goes wrong in here you have got major expensive problems so okay ladies before we get moving my talks are gone i did want to um mention something that's very very important and i just did this you want to double check your tire pressures before every time that you go like you go out you want to make sure that they're um, inflated to the 65, like these tires are 65 PSI is what they are recommended to be inflated to per the yellow tag on my, on my door. And um, if you've changed your, whoops, there's all those. If you've changed your tires um, since you purchased, you want to make sure that you do inflate them per the weight of your trailer what the manufacturer of that tire recommends so um, uh, the pressure that they recommend is all based on the weight of this rig 
um, so you want to make sure and you also want to make sure that your jack is up before you leave and we are going to pack up those blocks and get this rig down to the dealership to get some of our work done so hopefully we can get it done by the 4th of July anyway I hope this video was helpful to someone uh, and all you gals out there who get a little intimidated by this whole process just practice you need to know how to do this in case you are stuck on your own and you got to move this thing all by yourself you need to feel comfortable about what you're doing it may take you a little bit longer but that's okay um, you can do it so anyway hope this was helpful we'll see you later